Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the greatest series in the history of on-screen entertainment, Guess the Elo. Today's episode, as always, has some very fun and interesting chess games for your consumption that you can enjoy in the comfort of your own home, car, or otherwise. But I do just want to say that we named today's episode what we named it because for some reason, before we started recording, I accidentally called it Grand Theft Elo. I don't really know why I did that. It's just something that happened. And obviously there is Grand Theft Auto, the video game series, so we figured why not make a thumbnail and boom, there you go. And before we jump into the games today, I just want to thank the sponsor of today's video. Uh, let's hide the music, because YouTube can't know. YouTube, we got no music here. I don't know what you guys are talking about. All right, folks, here we go. Here we go, here we go, here we go. Uh, we are going to begin with the first game of the day. Random noob with the white pieces plays D4 and Gotham Sub responds with Knight to F6. A very good move. Hyper modern move. All right. <clears throat> Here we go. C3. Can somebody tell me what on earth this is? What is this? Not even two squares? Not even a knight? C3. Okay. So is it going to be a London? What? So White did everything to set up a London, even an escape route, and proceeded to block their bishop. I wouldn't even be shocked if Black almost has advantage. Huh? 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 Crazy. I mean, Black has more logical development, right? Good control of the center. White doesn't have that. Okay, blocking in your own dark squared bishop. I don't hate it. Okay. H5. Oh, wow. H5. Okay, that's a move. Um, that's okay. So white is trying to play E4, or not. White might be trying to go over here. I, I have truly no idea. E5. Okay, so I, I would recommend not opening the center while your king is there. Because, like, dude, you can't play on the king side and the center. You have to choose, okay? You have to play... Uh, my house is currently shaking because there's a... There's a street cleaner outside. Like, the, the like you know, in New York, they street clean. So, um, my house just vibrated. That was pretty cool. Uh, no, not an earthquake. It's New York. If it was California, it's an earthquake, yes. Um, but no, no, no. We, we, don't, we don't get those here. We get, we get a lot of stuff in New York. Uh, not that. So, uh... Yeah, um, you can't play in the side of the board in the center because what are you doing? You gotta, you know. So e5, e4, right? E takes d4, c takes d4, queen e7. Okay, so first things first. Um, this basically means that you have to castle queenside, right? So this, that's, that's basically what that means. Like you, 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 you're already committed to the center. Um, right, then, uh, you know, all right, you're not gonna castle that way. Knight h4. Okay. So d5 is a really terrible move because it just literally hangs a pawn. There's a pawn and a king. So d5 is not guarded. Why is bishop d5 a bad move? Oh, because white castles. Okay, I mean, yeah. All right, whatever. Uh, so you can actually take the pawn. Um, so knight c5 is also a bad move because white can play b4, target your knight, and if you try to do this, then they castle, and again, you're losing here because your queen and your king are on the same line. Like, you played very well in this opening, and then you decided to play h5, e5. Like... Why didn't you just, you know, develop and castle? Instead, you went full Uga Booga mode, you know? So, you know, bishop e7 is a, is a, is a decent move. Uh, so that's, uh, you know. So b4. Uh, give me one second, y'all. Okay. Bishop b2. 
All right. Nobody got banned. Just had to type a message. So it's plus four. Why is it plus four? It's plus four because... Because uh, well, Black's position sucks. Uh, because Black played on two sides and then, you know, had to bring the king to the other side of the board and it's just a huge attack there. Rook c1. Short castle, right? So what does white play here? I don't hate that move. <clears throat> okay. This is so... You have so much tension built up here. And yet when they castle, black's position is hopeless. Like, black has no good moves. Why? If white wants to win this game, they can win this game so many ways. They can just play a5. They can play a b, a6, rook fc1, knight b3, knight d4, knight c6. Like, you have no play. None. None. But it's guess the elo, so you probably won the game, right? So, queen d3. Okay, so we just played a4, but we're going to abandon that plan. What does this do? What is queen d3? Why? What does that do? I... Is this... Like, what are... What? A5. Okay, thank you. Yeah, and see, now you try to fight back. Oh my, it's plus nine. I mean, the game, the game is over. It's beyond over. All white has to do is bring this rook, take, and that's... I mean, you're going to lose. I don't even know how on earth you will survive. I, I legit cannot find a way. I don't know. Yup. Oh my gosh. I mean, just rook takes pawn. Just like, that's it. Okay. You're putting up resistance, and people are really bad at dealing with when resistance gets put up. Like, knight b3, knight a5 uh, is an idea. Doubling, so doubling on any one of these files is an idea. That's not a bad move. Okay, you just moved your rook there a move ago, and then proceeded to unmove it and hang a bishop at the same time, which is sick, you know? That's really cool. He did, they, they didn't take you because, you know, why would, like, when I see the move rook h8 played, the first thing I notice is, oh, like, I just, you know, I don't know, how, where are white's eyeballs? On their butt? Like, I, I, that seems like a very bad way to, like, live life, you know? So, all right, rook g8, oh, you move back, I like that. So what white did is white did not try to avoid your defenses. What white tried to do is just restructure your position. So you're still minus 11. It's, you know, 11 point advantage for white, but like, that's it. You have no way of defending yourself anymore. Let's see what happens. Uh-huh. So by the way, going back here, very decent idea, perhaps. Um, I don't know. So B5, A5. Okay, so that's it. The attack has broken through. Knight takes D6. Let's bring it home. Uh-huh. All right. Okay, so take bishop or take free knight or, or, or okay, take rook. Ah, but now after take rook, there's this move. And somehow white is not even better anymore. So what did white have to play here? White had to play uh, maybe this to just remove a defender. And then this. And just keep attacking. Yeah, just, just simplify a little bit, keep attacking, and just break through. Okay? You, though, because you're super clutch, find this move. And suddenly, like, that's very important. There are these game-changing moves in games. Your opponent doesn't realize in how much danger they really are, and suddenly you're winning because you have bishop and knight for a rook and a big attack on the king. Incredible. Oh, my gosh. Oh, my... Oh. Wow. 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 That was one of the worst but best games I've ever seen. That was like straight up one of the worst best games ever. <laughs> like <laughs> Wow. Um okay. So the opening was complete nonsense but it was controlled nonsense, but yeah, what do I do with H5 E5, huh? I mean, is it like a high-rated player with an experiment gone wrong? Was there just enough defense that Black did a good job? I'm going to say like 1,300, actually. 
I honestly think this is like a 13, 1400 game. I'm going to say 1300. That's actually what I think. It's not me, by the way. I, I didn't play this game. S 1669 versus 1684? What? 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 Oh my goodness. It, nobody thought it was that high. I mean, even the counterplay was so brief by Black that like, yeah, it was sophisticated, but I mean, White played terribly. I think this, this one got everybody. Wow. Oh yeah, it's a bit cut off at the top. I apologize. Here, I'm going to bring it down. Sorry. Wow. That's insane. Yeah, I did not I did not think yeah, that that wow, 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 wow. That's that's wild. That's wild. Okay. Good start. Epic game. Good comeback there by Black, keeping it all solid. Um no, that was good. I mean, that that is how you make a comeback in chess. But Tom, how did you hang your bishop on g7 like four times? Like, Okay, d4. Okay. Fake game? Oh, what? Okay, I think it's like plus 1.8. Probably a huge advantage for white. Oh, literally, it was plus 1.8 for a second. Yeah, I mean, no, nobody plays c6 here. <clears throat> now it's plus 2.5, probably. All right, now, oh God, every move is getting closer and closer to like plus 5 advantage. Wow. Great move. Amazing move, supported by the other pawn. Is this a fake game? What is this? Is this a fake game? You playing this against your friend or something? What, what? Is black just real? What is, what is King G2? Why? Well, for what? You, do you see all these beautiful pieces that you have and you play King G2? What, for what are, what is he going to get in the game? Like, I don't understand. What, what is he the one? I mean, you need to take space. Unbelievable. Okay, back to normal. E5, no trading. E5 or F5, open up the position. Yes. D6. Yes. Okay, I'm sorry. Did you pay your opponent or something? Well, like, I, I, are you paying them to do this? What, what is this? This is one of the dumbest games I've ever seen in my life. What? Come on. Huh? Okay. And yet, it's going to be kind of difficult. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Black won a pawn. Oh, boy. All right. Yeah, the, the, you guys got to stop. You got to not submit games like this. Please, can, we, can we do me a favor? For everybody watching, I don't want to analyze games like this. This is a complete waste of my time and everybody's time. This is a very bad submission. It, you thought it was hard to guess the ELO? It is. It is, because you're probably like 2200. Nice pawn break, though, with the bishop on d3 and the rook on h7. Um, I would take again. Now put the knight in the middle, knight e5. Okay, yeah, that's also very good. You don't have to take the rook. You don't have to take that either, but I, I get it, because now you're going to take the rook and the bishop and knight e5 and... Uh, what, are, what, are, what is this? What? Why did you submit this game? Complete waste of time. What? Okay, I don't know. I mean, obviously, like, this could be like 500, or it could be like a, a person with black who is just very mad and just tilted. Okay, I don't know. I... I don't, I, I don't know. I don't, um. I guess I can, ha I have to base this on White's play. Uh, 1600. 1600? 1600, sure. 1600. 1300, okay. Wow, so my guesses were reversed. All right, cool. 
Well, take it as a compliment. I guess you're you're thirty. You're sixteen hundred now. Sick, dude. I mean, you're thirteen hundred now. Is that what I said? I don't know. Check friends list. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Cool, 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 cool. That was good. That was good. That was good. That was good. Sick game. Sick game. Dope game. Dope game. Your opponent obviously was just like mad, and I don't know, just decided to play a terrible game. All right, cool, 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 cool. We're gonna keep it moving, keep it moving. Don't feel bad, don't feel bad. Sometimes we have a game to submit and it's not a good game and it happens. Don't worry about it, don't worry about it, don't worry about it. It's all good, it's all good, it's all good. King's Gambit. Let's hope this is a good game, okay? King's Gambit is a very interesting opening. You should either take it and hang on to it or strike back in the center, okay? That's a very bad move. You should not be defending with your knight. I don't care if it's theory. It's not. You're just worse now. Okay. G5? Yes. 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 This is exactly how you deal. Very nice. Very nice. I like this. I like this. This is very good. Now, white messed up. Because white should really bring the knights here. And then the second that this is threatened, uh, you can either play FE or F5 or even something like D3 to make sure it's protected. So what white should have done at this point is played the move D3, at which point this is no longer a gambit and just white having a nice position. Okay, instead of that, White lost the Pawn King's Gambit style and will never win it back. And plays a beta move and is losing. Okay, this is not how it goes. Okay? You should not be doing it this way. Okay? This is very bad. Just very bad. Black just has a great position. Okay, that is a terrible move. I mean, Bishop D7 is just really not... It should not be... It's not, you know. Okay. Nice. E5 is a smart move. <clears throat> what I would do here is I would, I, would, I would take and then I would long castle, okay? So I would play like this and then uh, take and long castle. You can't take again. And uh, you can't take again because of rookie one. You can't play queen c5 because of queen d4. So huge. Wow. Okay, that doesn't do anything though. Okay, bishop trade. Yeah, and black is just doing a nice job. Black needs to break through over here because there's a king. So you got you to gotta get over there and break, break through. Nice. No threats. No threats. Um, I would have gone here. So you can play h5, g4. See, bishop g7 looks okay, but it doesn't actually do too much. Uh, bishop e7 defends your pawn. So I would have played bishop e7, h5, g4. Uh, knight f5 is, yes, knight f5 is definitely better than knight g6. You should definitely play knight f5. But I don't really care um, as far as, you know, it's minus two or minus three. This is a much more active square with an actual threat, but I don't care. Queen d3. Another idea here. Computer likes to trade the queen off. Uh, okay, that might have been a free pawn, but I guess rook a1, so no. Uh-huh. Eh, a little bit of counterplay, but everything's fine. Sneak in. You got to have a win somewhere. Ah, it's a terrible move. No, 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 no. You, you, gotta, you gotta make sure you're... This is the strongest thing you have, and you've just broken it up. Oh, my God. Uh, okay, this is still... This is still not how I would have done this. Um, so, not, don't do knight h4. You can play, like, queen d3, removing the queen from the game, targeting this, targeting this, rook c3, etc., I, uh, I, I would not recommend trading off the knight and just getting to this because the truth is you don't have um, an attack anymore if white plays this correctly. So I, I miss queen g3 completely, but it doesn't mean anything. You, how are you attacking here? You're, you're minus one because you're up a pawn, but that's it. As your advantage is a pawn now. Whereas here... Your advantage is a pawn, an extremely active queen, and the ability to target three weaknesses. It's not the same thing. I'm just saying. Let's see what happens. Queen g3. Uh-huh. 
Okay. Okay, where is attack? And look at that. You guys are all saying, like, I was wrong and I missed Queen G3. And look at you, bozos. Look at that. White is now better because black did nothing. And Queen G6 traps the queen. And then you can go back and win the queen. This is insane. Queen G6 is now winning for white. Because after Rook G2, King F1, it's mate or the Rook hangs. Or the bishop. And that is why in the middle of being up in a game, you don't just strand your queen on the edge of the board, you clowns. YouTube, you're not clowns. Twitch is clowns because they're like, no, you missed queen g3. This is not the right approach to the game. Black got an advantage and did nothing. This was great, but didn't remove the most important glue of the position. Just did this, all right? And then, uh, you know, this is the, the, and then did nothing. They were completely unable all right, to, to break through this, white, I mean, and then, and by the way, white didn't find queen g6, and white allowed the queen in, and um, it's mate. <laughs> so, uh, white allowed the queen in and got mated. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, that's, uh, that's how the game ended, sick. Um, yeah, dope. Wow, okay, uh, King's Gambit, Black played really well, I mean really well, and then had a little bit of a slip up, man, Black played, yeah, I mean, this is a very high level game, uh, I gotta think for a sec, like King's Gambit, giving up the pawn, G5, noticing everything, the critical moments of this game were like, Knight h4, queen g3, man. I want to say like 14, 1500 probably. I don't want to say any higher because I feel like higher they have much better control of the opening. You know what I mean? Like I feel like 17, 1800 would not allow such a bad thing in the opening. So I'm going to say like 14, 1500. That's what I think. If it's lower, I'm very impressed, but I think it's 14, 1500. Look at that. 1473 versus 1477. Damn. Folk Riser, thank you for gifting 20 subs. Uh, I'm assuming you gave 20 subs in order to get a game analyzed. Um, uh, but we are in the middle of a recording for Guess the Elo, so you can say hi to YouTube. You're going to have a YouTube moment. YouTube, this is, this is how it's like here. Um, so, yeah. Um, wow. Wow. What a game. I was right. 14, 1500. Yeah, it, it felt like it. It felt like it. You know, it felt, uh, felt like it was a very good fight, but it, it had its moments of being 1400 level. Oh. It is what it is. What it do, what it be, and it be what it do. So let's go. Fourth game. E4, E5, C4. Okay, I think this is like 500. <clears throat> okay. Amazing. A5, all right. Okay. Incredible. So let's check the, the whale. The whale variation. Okay. White is actually playing shockingly good moves. So I, I might not think this is 500 anymore. Oh no, knight G5 is a really bad move. Knight g3, okay. King h2, rook d1. A lot of maneuvering in this game. Oh, that was apparently the top engine move. I don't know why. Okay, now there's just... There should, are you gonna get... Uh-oh. Oh my. That looks really scary. You're losing after bishop takes h... That is not... That is not the move. You're, you're, you're just getting completely smashed after this. But okay. Yo, there's queen takes g3 here. You guys see this? And a fork. That is insane. 
Wow. Now white is winning. White is winning because white has a lot more space and black's pieces are just targets. So for example, f5 here is crushing because then the idea is to play rook f4. So if f5 here, uh, knight f4, then, you know. This looks like a really interesting idea as well. Okay, that's everything that... Rook g4. Oh, take the knight. The knight is free. The queen's not even protected. Huge. What? What? This game is so weird. Why did they play the whale and then just play super normal? What? Huh? Okay. That's weird. I'm, I'm very confused. I'm very confused. <clears throat> I gotta tell you, white played kind of dumb in the opening, but it didn't do anything that unreasonable. Well-timed center pawn break. Good development. All right, some weird queen and rook moves here, but... White played really well. Okay, there was like one tactic missed. And then white immediately... I feel like white is... White is like 17, 1800. Like, no joke. I, I, I mean, white played basically every move I would have played. I, but black also played pretty reasonably. But I feel like all my guesses have been the same today. I straight up, I straight up have said 13, 1400 like three times or four times. Wow, I don't know. I mean, oh, God, this is so difficult. Oh. White played a really good game, despite playing the whale. Uh, Okay. I'm going to say 1600. That's my guess. Watch should be like 900. Ah! I was so close. 1527, 1563. Well, listen, my sub is 37 points away from 1600. So, shout out to the whale. Wow. Incredible. All right, final game. Let's go. Let's make a count. Final game of Guess the Elo today. Gotham Sub has the black pieces. The Nimso Indian on the board for the first time ever in Guess the Elo. Crazy. This is top level stuff right here. Knight F3. C5. Oh, God. Okay. Well, well, that's just a pawn blunder. I mean, the entire purpose of the Nimso Indian is to completely prevent the move E4, and now black is winning on move 5. Unless this is some sort of top gambit. Well, the advantage is gone, so yeah, I feel like neither player knows how to play their opening. So here, black has to play Queen A5 and apply even more pressure. This is not a good move because obviously there is the rook hanging. So, the other thing you can do is give up the, the knight like this, you know. Um, but you're not really supposed to give white monster bishops, which you're about to do. Okay. Yeah, so now, you know, you have to probably defend this. But it, it, you can also take. Like, you can, you can take the knight, because you're not losing this, because there's this. Okay. Yeah, take. Yeah, so black is just a pawn up. So the opening was an absolute success. Um, 
Ah, I would never go C4. I would never go C4. I don't care what Stockfish says. I, I, I would keep the pawns here. You also really don't need to worry about this that much. I know computers like saying that there's a way to... But this is so weak. There's no reason to do it. You obviously should like defend your pawns. But that's just... I don't know. C4 kills all the... Uh... Okay. Anyway. Queen F6. Nice. Yeah. This is how you take advantage of... Yup. Yup. What's the best move here by black? If you play rook d8, they're gonna win this. The best move by black is to sack the rook and use your three on one and soon three on zero. My man played it. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. No, oh, what a move and you can't take because of this. 90, oh, d4, let's go, c2. Once, oh God. Oh, and you... Okay, I don't want to look at the rest of the game because you didn't play D2. I, you lose like 900 points of your ELO that I was going to guess because you didn't play D2. How did you just uncork unreal levels of just butt kicking, just absolute savagery, and then you don't play D2? And then you start bringing your king... Like, what is this? Did you let your younger sibling take over? Like, what is this? What are we doing? Wait, are you BMing? Wait a minute. Are you doing this on purpose? Because you don't... Because they won't resign? Oh, that's so disrespectful. Okay, if you had promoted to a rook here, I would have been a lot happier. Did you just run the king, like, to just maximum disrespect your opponent? Wow. Oh, amazing. Okay, so... Black played this game... Like, a 1800. 18 to 2,000. Um, White played this game like a... Well, to be honest with you, they, they had a very short game. The critical moment was this, which could have been a mouse slip, by the way. This could have been a mouse slip. Like, White honestly could have meant to play E3, mouse slips E4, and is now just on the back foot the whole game. I mean, they played reasonable moves. Like, they actually did. Um... Yeah, I'm gonna say like 1800. I'm gonna say 18 to 1900. And maybe even 2000. Because they, they both played kind of reasonably. Except Black was winning the entire game. That's what I'm gonna say. Here we go. 1800. 11. No, no, no. No, no, no. No way. No. Yo, Black. Nah, 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 nah. If Black is banned for fair play violations in like a month, because you know this happens. This happens. Like, sometimes... I'm, I'm kidding. Obviously, you probably played the game of your life. You should be proud of making a joke. But there have been cases where people end up banned like a month later. And then I see comments like, that person got banned. And I'm like, oh my god, that's crazy. No, 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 no. No, no. You played the game of your life. I fully believe in you. I just can't believe you're 1100. I literally just guessed 700 points higher because that's how much better you played.